Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. My name is Jenna, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, certified makeup artist, and soon to be a statistician. I make beauty and lifestyle related videos on this channel, so if that sounds like something that interests you, then you might want to subscribe and stick around for my future videos. So, with that being said, I have a huge, huge, huge haul today. This is about $800 worth of product. This is a makeup and skincare haul from... Ulta and the skincare stuff is from Dermalogica. Um, the Dermalogica stuff was made in one big purchase and then I made three separate Ulta orders. This is everything in this huge ass box and I am so 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 excited about everything. I can't say that enough honestly. So I'm just going to dive right in. I can barely see the bottom of this box. It's going to be a long video so I'm going to shut the heck up and just show you guys what I got. So the first thing that I bought was this black opium perfume. I got the five ounce bottle. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite perfume. I used to have a three ounce bottle and it lasted me almost three years. So I got this five ounce bottle. It was like with tax, 157 something dollars. But if the three ounce bottle lasted me for about three years, this should last me for about five years. So I think it's a good investment and I am so, so happy because I love this perfume so much and I ran out and now I have it again. So the next thing I have in here is this Kula SPF setting spray. It smells kind of citrusy kind of from what I remember and I haven't used it yet but I'm very excited to use it. I'll probably end up putting it on my face after this video because I'm going to go outside and stuff but I am very excited to try this out because since I'm in aesthetic school I am learning a lot about the skin and the damage the sun does to the skin so I have been very crazy about wearing SPF recently so that is something you will soon learn about me. I do not leave the house without some sort of SPF on my face or my hands because I want to look like I'm 40 when I'm 80 and I want to look like I'm 20 when I'm 40 so I'm starting now with that good skincare stuff. So next from Ulta, I got this MAC Powder Foundation. It's in the shade N3 and I swatched it already and it looks like this is uh, going to be a pretty good shade for me. So I'm very excited to wear this very soon because I love doing my makeup obviously. like. Duh. And the next thing I got was this free sample because I spent over $30 on Kula products. So it's just this mini sunscreen thing. The next thing I got are these Cover Effects drops. Um, this is in the shade Blossom. I have already used this so that's why it's kind of dirty. And I think it is so freaking pretty. I am actually wearing this on my face today and I am so obsessed. The next thing in here is this MAC foundation, the 24 hour wear buildable full matte coverage oil and shine control. This is in the shade N4 and I already like swatched it in my hand to like see if it was the right shade. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. This is it. I love MAC foundation so I'm very excited to try that out whenever I get the chance. So I'm going to stick with foundation. I also got the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Oslo. I am wearing this on my face today so that's why it's dirty already. Um, I don't know why I just can't keep things clean but I can't so it's dirty and I'm just gonna have to live with it. Um, I mean, I could clean it, but it's going to get dirty again. And um, I bought this online, and it was the most, it's a perfect shade. Like, when I blended it on, it didn't even look like I was wearing foundation because it just blended in so beautifully. So, this is... I know for a fact is going to soon be one of my new absolute favorite, favorite, favorite foundations. So again, sticking with foundation, I got this Too Faced Born This Way Powder Foundation. I got it in the shade Cloud 
and honestly it looks like it might be a little bit too light because even though I am very very pale but I have to try it on my face first to really see um, I had a different Too Faced powder foundation and when I was looking online I couldn't find the exact same shade so I just got this one because it seemed like it was the closest one but I will try it out and I will let you guys know what I think about it and if it matches my skin tone and everything I'm gonna keep going with powders I got this NARS translucent setting powder I wore it today um, I think as of right now it looks really good so that's why it's not in the packaging like everything else is um, I feel like at first it was kind of hard to get the product on the brush but after swirling a little bit I felt like it was fine I think it applied very nicely and I think my skin looks pretty good so but I am gonna have to try it out more to get a full opinion on whether or not I like it but I will definitely continue to use it and let you guys know what I end up thinking the next thing I got is this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I feel like every person on the internet has this powder and absolutely loves it so I felt like I just had to get on the bandwagon and try it out for myself so I haven't used it yet, but I will probably use it within the next few days. So um, comment down below if you guys want to see a June favorites and misses video. So comment down below if you would like that because I would love to do that for you guys. And I think it would be really fun because I can try these products out and let you guys know what I ended up thinking about them. Okay, so I'm going to take a break from makeup right now and to you guys the skincare stuff that I bought from Dermalogica. Um, so the aesthetic school that I go to, Dermalogica is their product line. So I was getting some of their products. So the first thing that I got is this Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50 H Smart Moist, uh, Moisturizer. This one is used and this one is still in the packaging. Um, I like it. It's not bad. My skin feels really nice when I'm wearing it. Sometimes this is the only thing I wear pretty much on my face. I typically wear this every day for the past few weeks and I like it and I got the mini size so it wasn't that expensive so if you do want to try it out I will link Thermalogica's website in the description bar so you guys can check any of these out for yourself if you're interested. Next thing that I got which I've been using pretty much every day is this Age Bright Clearing Serum. So it's basically supposed to help with your acne and getting rid of your pimples and stuff and at the same time prevent future breakouts and at the same time prevent signs of aging. So it's pretty much magic in a bottle and I have been using it like I said almost every day for the past two, three, maybe four weeks. Time is going by so fast, so honestly, I don't even know. But I love it, and it makes my skin feel really nice. And for those of you who don't know, you only need five drops of a serum. You know, when they're like taking and they do like this, and this, and like this, and that's, don't do that. You don't need that much, and it's just a waste of product and it's a waste of money and just so you guys know you only need five drops of a serum. Next I got this Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Night Gel and um, it's basically supposed to work with your circadian rhythm and like repair your skin while you're sleeping and it has lavender and other essential oils in it so it makes me like fall asleep so much nicer and since there's essential oils there's an air lock because if you have the exposed to the air, it's going to lose its effect. So if you do, I recommend this so much. I use it almost pretty much every night when I remember to use it. So if you're looking for something like this, this is their product to get. So again, I will link Dermalogica's website in the description bar down below. And the last thing I got from Dermalogica was pretty much a free sample kind of thing for spending a certain amount of money. So I got this Daily Microfoliant. It's like a powder exfoliator. Like, you just, I don't know if you saw it, but it's powder. Um, you put it on your wet hands and you kind of rub it in to make like, a creamy jelly consistency and you exfoliate your face rinse it off and it has sort of a weird smell but that's just because there's no artificial added fragrances 
that's just the natural scent so it's honestly better for your skin and even though it doesn't smell super good it doesn't smell like terrible either it's definitely a tolerable smell and it doesn't linger around so I still think it's a pretty good product all right so getting back to makeup I got the Lily lashes in the style Miami flare and I also got the style Miami which is what I am wearing on my eyes today I feel like these are the most dramatic lashes I've ever worn and I'm kind of obsessed with them and I love them they're very long like width wise so you pretty much will probably have to cut a little bit off so it fits your eye but other than that like it's they're really good and I can't wait to wear the shit out of these lashes. So next I got two ColourPop lip, um, not liquid lipsticks, I got two ColourPop lip liners. This one is in the shade Bichette and I think it's so pretty. I love red lipstick so much. I haven't been wearing red lipstick as much recently because I haven't been doing much but red lipstick is my favorite and this is the shade Bossy and I think that they are both so pretty. So I am finally getting down to the bottom of this box. The last makeup makeup item that I got was this MAC concealer. Um, I feel like it looks a little bit too yellow for my skin tone because I have a, like very pink undertones but I will have to try it out on my skin to see what it really looks like so I will let you guys know what I think. And the last two things I got, I got this Crystal Zodiac brush set for my sister for her birthday. Her birthday is today when I'm filming this, June 4th. So after I clean up after filming this video, I'm going to wrap this up and give it to her for her birthday. And then for my other sister, her birthday is in August, but I still got this for her because it was half off at Ulta and I don't know when we'll be back in stock. I got the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush set. So she knows that I got it and everything, but she's going to have to wait till August 15th to get her birthday present. So yes, that is the end of what is in this box I there's so much stuff in front of me and it's just like I feel like I got so much but at the same time I want more but I probably won't be buying makeup or anything for the next few months because I have so many new goodies and products to play with to keep me busy and occupied for a while. And okay, well, I have been filming for about 17 minutes now. Um, this was a very long video, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys want to see a June favorites or hits and misses video, comment down below so I know that I should do that and that's something you'll enjoy. So I'll be able to tell you guys what I thought of these products that I got. Um, comment down below if you have tried any of these products and what you thought about them. Comment down below any other product recommendations that you do have. And as I say in every video, comment down below what time it is when you're watching this because I am very curious to know. And also comment down below any other random video ideas you guys would like to see. I'm kind of thinking about doing a my rat picks my makeup video because people always do my dog picks my makeup but I don't think I've ever seen someone do my rat picks my makeup. So comment down below if you want to see that because I kind of really want to do it and I'm probably going to do it either way but just I'd feel better doing it if I know you guys actually want to see it and I think that's all I have to say today. Um, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I hope to see you guys very soon in another video of mine. Bye!